Hey guys, so while Miss Jocelyn is taking a nap real quick, I wanted to film my December favorites even though it's already late. But like I said about our six month update, that's okay, right? Um, at least I'm not as late for this. Um, anyway, I have a lot of stuff to talk about and that's all makeup, so I better just jump right in. Um, yeah, here we go. So at the beginning of December, up until like Christmas, um, the foundation I was using quite a bit was um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I think I mentioned this in my last favorites video. It's a really great full coverage matte foundation. Um, I love applying it with my Sedona Lace 480. Perfect pair. So love that. And then one combo I, I liked a lot was the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup mattifying long lasting and oil free in 20 nude beige um this is available at ulta it's super affordable and then but it is only like light coverage at least for me um if you have really good skin maybe you'd consider it like medium but i don't so i consider it like light to medium it really doesn't build up coverage that well either so um what i did was mix it with a couple drops of the cover effects custom cover drops and that gives it full coverage and with those I like to apply with a beauty blender and it does last really well throughout the day um, yeah so that is a really good combo and then um, let's see for bronzer and blush this month I was loving am loving still um, wearing it today the power couple from M Heart that man can I talk the Amazonian clay blush and bronzer duo and this is their matte bronzer and the blush doesn't say but I believe it's doll face um, so yeah I've had this for quite a while but when I would try it in the summer I just felt like the bronzer made looked a little muddy on me when I was self tanned I don't know so for some reason I just feel like the this bronzer works better when I'm not so and then I like my like really warm bronzers for when I am self tanned if that makes sense and then when I'm not wearing that blush if I want something lighter I've been loving my MAC well dressed pretty sure I mentioned that last month too but I just love it um and then for brightening under the eyes I really love my NYX radiant finishing powder I just, there's one shimmery uh, cube right there, so I just kind of avoid that one and go around here. And it does really well at brightening. You can also use it to set the under eyes if you want to, but I always first, right after foundation and concealer, I set everything with my MAC Prep and Prime CC powder, which I wasn't even going to talk about, but this is something I really don't talk about that much, but I absolutely love it. Use it every time I put on makeup. If I don't, I know it's a big difference in lasting power. This is just a really great powder, so there you go. But then after everything is done, I'll use this just to really brighten even more and I love it. And I use my little e.l.f. blush brush just kind of like that. So it'll go all around. Yeah. So I love that. Um, I'm going to need a new one of those eventually, but I've had this one for like two years, so I use it a ton. So it does last a while. And then for my actual highlight, um, I love my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Around the fall and winter, I really love to use this like constantly. Um, I really like to have that highlight since I'm not as oily. So love this. I've got it a while back at my CCO. Obviously, this is going to last forever and a day so yeah I've contemplated getting another similar highlight now and then but I'm like really this thing is gonna last forever so yeah anyway it's a really good highlight so that was also from my CCO as well um and then um I had mentioned this in a haul I did the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. Um, minimizes pores, absorbs oil, and mattifies this. I really think I will end up repurchasing because I 
I love it. It works really well with pretty much any foundation, especially the long, the mattifying foundations. Or, um, yeah. Anyway, what am I trying to say? It mattifies too, but it just works. I like it. You know, it helps minimize pores, which I have absolutely humongous pores, so I hope I keep liking that in the summer. I think I will. But I really like it. So there's that. And then this month for mascara, I've been loving the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Mascara. Um, yeah, I just like it. It builds up length and volume really easy. I have super puny lashes, so you probably can't tell from on the video, but um, yeah, I really like it. So there's that. It, yeah, like I said, it's just, you don't have to like sit there forever trying to like build up. It just builds up easily. Um, I might get like one or two teeny tiny flakes down here from the fibers, but it's not like terrible. Um, it's affordable, so love it. And then these are pretty much always in my purse. But if I need a lip balm, I'll use my Smith's Mocha Rose Chocolate Cafe um, lip balm. So it basically smells like coffee and chocolate. And then I'll use my Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss, which smells like vanilla. So it's like the perfect scent combo. I really hate the products that smell like anything else because then they usually just smell like gross chemicals and it's just disgusting. Can't stand it. So, um, unless it smells like mint, that I don't mind. But like the, um, what's it called? The Buxom, the Bare Minerals Buxom full on lip creams that like smell minty and tingle. I just can't do those in the winter because. I just feel like I'm gonna freeze my lips off. So anyway, this color is similar to the one I have, the Rare Minerals one, and uh, but it doesn't feel that way because it smells like vanilla, which is awesome. And Mac lip products smell like vanilla, which is also what I love about those. But this I got recently at Ulta with my 20% off coupon. It was so it was originally 15. I got it for 12, so really not that expensive. Um, this is going to be my go-to lip gloss for a long time, I can tell. Um, yeah, I liked that. I'm pretty sure it is paraben-free. Um, I really, really love my NYX butter glosses. They're super affordable. I would wear them, like, all the time. But then I look at the ingredients and it's like, I really don't like that I'm practically eating pure mineral oil and parabens, like, every day. It's just gross. So this, I believe, does not have mineral oil or parabens. So that's good. And the color is Girl Next Door. Um, based on the description online, this is probably not the one I would have gotten. Um, but in store, I just liked it because it looked like a nice, pretty light pink and didn't have, like, really have shimmer in it like some of the other ones did. And so I got it, and I like it a lot. It looks like a light pink. But the description online is like a light coral or something like that. So, oh, sorry. I don't know why my voice is like that, but I am just getting over a cold too. So maybe that's why. And I'm talking too much. So yeah, I really, really like that lip gloss and it's not too expensive. So yeah. And then more recently, um, I've also been liking my Unique Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. Um, this is obviously from Unique. You can buy it through Unique Presenters. Um, I have a friend, Loren, who sells it. Um, maybe I can put her site below. Um, yeah. This is a really fantastic foundation. I think I need to get a lighter shade though. This seems like it'd be more my summer shade and it is Taffeta, um, which is the second shade in the neutral undertones. Um, so I think I do need a lighter one for like winter or to at least mix them together because it is kind of dark. Um, but the powder, I also got the same color in the powder foundation, is a little bit lighter. Um, so yeah, but again, 
They both have really great coverage, but especially the liquid foundation is like so lightweight. I just love how it just, it really doesn't look like, it doesn't look thick at all on your skin. So like the L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation is full coverage and feels light, but this just like, looks like super light. It's like skin, but much better. <laughs> so anyway, um, and again, I use my Set of Lace 480 and it works really well. So yeah, I've been really liking those, but again, I think I need to go with a lighter color. Um, they, I would really love if Unique expanded their shade range and had like maybe another shade in between like a light, light medium and then medium because this is like light medium if that makes sense. So because I've heard the lighter one is pretty light but you know you can like fix it up with if you wear concealer and powder and bronzer like I do it kind of evens out in the end anyway but yeah. So I do really like that though. So and Unique is all naturally based. Um, so you're not putting a bunch of junk on your face and it's for a good cause. Um, yeah. So, and you're helping support unique presenters everywhere or the one you buy from. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all my favorites. Again, lots of makeup, but I've been really loving getting more into it again. Um, winter is kind of that time of year where it's like you can really try out more things in a way because the summer it's really hard to find things that just stay on my face. <laughs> so um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now and I will see you hopefully sometime soon in a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.